I know of a case where a man who used to go to a weighing machine and put one or two rupees to weigh himself, paid himself at four or five railway stations in Mumbai. And all the five machines gave him five different weights with a variation of more than two kilograms from machine to machine. So he filed a case with the railways. He filed a case in the consumer court. And ultimately, all those machines were taken away from the uh, thing because even the railway started getting embarrassed that their premises are being used for this sort of nefarious activities. The weight, weight on those machines were all erroneous. And that two rupees or whatever you put that coin was, according to our definition, unjust enrichment. So there are people who fight. Now, for two rupees, a man fights and takes the matter to the legal metrology department, comes to our office, sits with us, we fight, he fights. This is time consuming. But in the long run, he has done the whole society a great favor by getting this sort of activity out of the mainstream. So, little basic knowledge, little common sense, and lots of, I would say, being aggressive on such issues is the key to all this. If the amounts are very small, most consumers, for example, again, if I take a packet of biscuits, which cost maybe 10 or 20 rupees, and the biscuits are soft, most consumers on a scale of 190 consumers would throw the biscuits away or feed them to their dog or a dog or a stray dog down the, in, on the road. Not understanding that there must be millions of such packets in the market which are doing the same dirty trick of fooling the consumer. So many consumers think it is not worth to fight all this. There, we always call this, they take a commercial decision that for 20 rupees it is not worth to fight. This is all in the person's mind. There have been people who have fought for 1 rupee and 5 rupees. The Google and the internet is available for getting all your rights. Even for the sake of argument, if your two-wheeler doesn't work within, say, three months of buying it, you go on the website, there will be so many sites which will tell you about similar stories and how they can be addressed. The second important thing is you should preferably contact an NGO in your own place where you stay to help you. Because these consumer fights can be pretty taxing. They can uh, drain you of all your resources, your strength, your uh, energy and whatever. So speak to an NGO. Most of the NGOs have a setup in which they will guide you. Many NGOs like mine, the Consumer Guidance Society, we write to the people concerned. That means the company. And you'll be surprised, many of the good and reputed companies, we have 70% success rate where the person gets relief thanks to the intervention of the NGO. This is largely because most of these big companies realize that if there is an NGO behind this person, it will do all the homework and then come. So you cannot escape the liability which you will ultimately be forced to come out with. So they do understand and they do help. But that is in extraordinary situations and only if you go through an NGO. Let me also warn all your viewers that there are many NGOs which are one man or two man NGOs where again the consumer can get fooled by saying you got to pay an upfront deposit of maybe 2,000 or 5,000 rupees to get your complaint redressed. Most NGOs will either not charge you at all or will charge you a token fee of maybe 100, 200 or 500 rupees. So if anybody asks you anything more than that, be very, very careful because once you parted the money, you have further got yourself into trouble because you are putting good money after bad money. Everybody knows that he has rights whenever he buys anything or makes use of services. But the implementation is not all that great. So that's why you find that uh, the number of people complaining or the number of people who are escalating their complaints is not as high as it should be. The consumer is always at the receiving end 
when he buys any goods or when he buys or uh, when he makes use of any services till such time as he buys the product or makes use of services you will find that people are always after him but the moment he gets into the aspect of buying for certain goods or hiring services then he finds that he has to run after them to get the work done it's a very sorry state of affairs and that's because the regulatory mechanism is not strong enough to keep such tendencies under control i think the consumer awareness and the right to start right from the beginning when a consumer makes up his mind to buy some goods or hire some services at that moment the thought process should start from why am i buying this do i need this do i need something which is a high end model medium end model or a low end model what are the best avenues for buying this which are the good companies which buy this or sell this and more importantly what are the post sales services which are available to me in case i land in trouble see unfortunately the consumer moment has got into a rut when people think of consumerism basically basically as filing complaints and getting redressal of grievances it is not the main role the main role should start from why am i why are you buying which means somebody who is uh, say going to a, a college student or a school uh, going uh, student should not be looking at a mobile which has got the highest end of graphics and uh, uh, morphing and uh, uh, things like that he should go for a middle level or a low level phone because his phone will be mainly for making calls unfortunately your status in life in wherever you are working is on the highest quality of phone you buy so people spend a big sum of money for buying a phone which 80% of the services they never make use of in their lifetime 15% they make use of occasionally and 5% they make of regularly this ratio should be the other way around that 80 15 5 should be the other way around but people don't understand and then they buy sometimes from roadside vendors they buy these cheaper items so called cheap items so it's like buying a torch you get a good torch in the market for about maybe 200 or 250 but you get low grade chinese torches which are available for as little as 70 80 or 100 rupees now the difference is that the regular torch will last you for about 5 years the chinese make low level one will last you for 3 to 6 months so these are decisions which the consumer has to take and these are also part of consumer rights to get good uh, material in the market as i said unfortunately the regulatory mechanism and the implementation of all the so called good things we have in our laws is extremely poor as a result the consumer suffers the rules which are made for example tri has excellent rules on marketing but the implementation is abysmal if i may use that word everybody in spite of putting their name in dnd will get marketing calls that's because point number 1 on an on an average or on a on general scale most indians have very little respect for them. there are people who will call call you from private numbers for marketing calls which i get though i am on dnd for five calls a day i get or maybe eight calls sometimes in spite of knowing that it is not allowed now the try rules say that such a person his phone number is to be disconnected immediately but the mechanism of doing is so bad and so slow and the courts are so liberal in giving stay orders that it becomes very difficult for this to get implemented the second important aspect is if there are 1 2 5 10 or maybe even 500 wrong doers all over india they can be caught easily but how do you catch 500000 wrong doers in this country or in over doing this day it's like somebody who does not listen to a traffic signal now if you break a traffic signal there is a law 
but the implementation is bad because every two wheeler fellow breaks a traffic signal routinely at least in the city and city of bombay so the question which arises is unless people are law abiding and our consumers also get their act together it is very difficult to implement all these things the second important aspect is if the implementation is strong for example we have consumer courts if they quickly give judgments and say insurance companies or people who sell two wheelers are immediately brought to book within say 3 months or 6 months it will have a salutary effect the other important aspect is the penalties for willfully not doing something which you should have done should be so high that they should act as a deterrent to the man who is uh, selling goods or giving services all this does not work here so the implementation as i said is abysmal the wrong doers get away with whatever they feel like uh, doing and the poor consumer who runs from pillar to post for justice is left at a loser raising the voice for wrong doing is the citizens fundamental duty which means as an example if i as a consumer am traveling in a train and somebody is carrying petrol or kerosene or some inflammable material in the train it is my duty to prevent any catastrophe from occurring to call the nearby authorities and tell them look this guy is carrying petrol and if something goes wrong this whole bogey will catch fire unfortunately our sense of responsibility is something that is why i say consumer rights are to be implemented in both ways consumers have to have so many rights but simultaneously as they say with every right comes 10 duties the biggest deterrent for any provider of services or goods is if there is consumer unity what do i mean by that let us say for an example that a particularly a particular brand of phone or mobile phone or a particular number you know you have this a37 and b42 and all that if the word go around that b42 of so and so company is a very poor model immediately if all consumers stop buying that thing the company will come to its senses repair the old ones and get its act together and put good phones in the market the unfortunate thing is i get a bad phone i make a complaint somewhere online or on a newspaper nobody believes me or everybody says it was his bad luck i say even if it is bad luck if you are not repaired my phone when it was out of order the whole community should boycott the phone till my phone is repaired and that is what happens in western countries i don't know if you are aware but car models have been withdrawn in millions they are doing it now in india also but in few thousands but this in many cases in foreign countries like in the west or in australia or in usa car models have been withdrawn in millions just because they are scared about their reputation and consumers are so i would use the word wary to touch a product of a tainted company so the moment you get tainted you are in very big trouble in those countries now when all of us to change our mindset because in consumer unity only is strength no other avenue you know there are two ways of catching somebody and bringing him to book one is in the legal system by going to a court or the other thing is very simple economic strangulation just start buying these products if some milk vendor across the road is adding lots of water to the milk and selling and the whole community around stops buying his milk let us see how he survives so but these are all thoughts which are all random and always floating around implementation as usual is extremely poor i am secretary of consumer guidance society of india we run a helpline in maharashtra whole state of maharashtra reports to us the helpline number is 1800 22 22 62 we get about 25000 complaints a year which works out to 2000 complaints a month there are some tough guys who fight and get their rights but on an average or on most of the people it takes anything between 3 to 5 years for a consumer court to give you an order 
which means if the video camera i am using right now is not working properly within the first couple of months and i make a complaint it will take me 3 to 5 years to get this 1200 rupees camera changed or maybe repaired and that's not the end of the story it's another 3 to 5 years if the company wishes to go in appeal for another 5 years if it goes decides to go in revision there is something called as revision you go from a district court to a state commission appeal state commission to national commission revision another 2 3 5 years so nothing less than 8 to 10 years at the bare minimum for solving what is a simple thing my video camera which i am using was not giving me good service this does not happen anywhere else in the so called civilized world in those countries you say something is bad they exchange it particularly within the first 6 months or one year without asking you a question now it cuts both ways consumers also will drop the camera break the lens and say that the lens broke on its own so it cuts both ways let's not uh hedge our bets on either side your child at home plays with a cricket ball or something knocks the camera down and then you say it broke by itself so it's a very i would say uh trust deficit on both sides consumers don't trust companies companies don't trust consumers this log jam has to break if the consumers are going to come out of this in a very strong and good way